the greatest obstacle to living is expectancy, which hangs upon tomorrow and loses today. You are arranging what is in fortune's control and abandoning what lies in yours. Seneca. Think about it. The mind is insidious, especially when it comes to two things. The mind has a way of fixating on an uncertain future, on focusing on what tomorrow brings. It also has a bad habit of fixating on the past, on remembering past events. The problem with these two things is that the future, the future is not promised. The future is often unclear to say the least. The past is often skewed. Many of our memories change each time we recall them. Many of our memories are shaped by emotions that we had at the time or later on past the event. So we can't really trust our perception of the past and we can't really trust the tomorrow that our mind conjures. But what we do ignore is what is actually real and what is actually in front of us, which is the present moment. The present moment today takes a back seat to the mind. The mind's always worrying about something else. Today just seems like something that's in the way, something that needs to be done and removed as quickly as possible. We don't worry about today. Today's boring. Nothing is happening today. We're not happy today. Today is not what we want. Our circumstances are not right. We want the new car. We want to move out of our mom's place. We want the promotion. Maybe we want the girlfriend. We want the kids to grow up. Tomorrow is better. Tomorrow is always better. Tomorrow is better because tomorrow our problems will be solved. And there's the trick. The mind thinks that a day will come when the problems are solved. The promised land is a day when there are no more problems. That's what we wait for tomorrow. But that's the trick, that's the illusion. No such day ever comes. If you understand life, you understand that life is always going to have problems. There's always going to be changes in circumstances. It's different types of quality of problems. Yes, you might have paid off your student debt. Yes, you might have moved out of your house. But guess what? The tires need changing. Guess what? Financial recession is happening. Guess what? North Korea is bombing your city. Things are always going to happen. Don't wait for tomorrow because this promised land is not what you think it is. What's going to happen is you're going to be on your deathbed and you're going to think of how you wasted your life in expectancy for a tomorrow that never came. Once you realize that life is always going to have problems, once you realize that there is no running away from them, you can learn to embrace the now because the now that you have today is going to be the now that you have tomorrow. Circumstances are going to be different, but you're going to be feeling the same until you change your perspective, until you understand that it's the small things, the small things that you've been pushing away, the small things that didn't seem too important, that seemed like trailers to life that were actually the most important. I'm talking about drinking your tea extra slow. Hugging the ones you love, feeling the breeze go through your hair, looking at the stars, watching a good movie, walking to the library, shit, even cleaning the dishes. It's these small things that life is made out of and it's these small things that you have to learn to embrace to fully be happy because that's what life is made out of. Not this tomorrow that you're envisioning. Such a thing doesn't exist. So what are you going to do? Are you going to expect tomorrow and live life that way or are you going to embrace the now?